Hi, this is Aaron from Superior Singing Method. In this video, I want to talk about the head voice. Okay, uh, head voice. This is part one of the head voice. So we're going to do some, some intro stuff and then uh, I'm actually going to give you an exercise at the end to, that'll actually show you how to find your head voice because many people have difficulty finding their head voice and go their entire singing life uh, without discovering how to get in head voice, uh, believe it or not. So uh, let's start with uh, what is head voice? How do you even know if you are in head voice? Uh, one, one indicator is uh, right now I'm speaking in my, my chest register, okay, my chest voice right now. And the way I could tell that is if um, I can put my hand on my chest, oh, I'll touch my mic here, um, put my hand on my chest, um, I could feel my chest resonating or just vi vibrating. Uh, okay, you can you can hear that, or well, you can hear that, but you can you could feel it uh, resonating. Uh, and with your head voice, it's not as much of a vibration. But if you put your hand on top of your head and you, you and your head looks like, uh, there's a little bit of kind of vibrating vibrating your head. But if you don't feel your head voice vibrating, um, the way to know you're in your head voice is by touching your chest voice, you know, put your hand on your chest and if it's not vibrating, then most likely you're in, the, you are in your head voice. Uh, you could possibly be in your mix or falsetto, but for the most part, you'll be, you'll be up there, up there in your head voice. So what is head voice? Head voice is, uh, like I said, it's a, it's one of your registers. It's one of your main resonators, your head voice, your chest voice are your two kind of primary resonators. Um, you have another third resonator but that's that's for a different video altogether um, your two main registers though are your head voice and your chest voice your chest voice like I said is it's um, or maybe I haven't said yet it's a deeper it's kind of your deeper uh, more uh, kind of fuller sound your head voice is more uh, it's like a lighter sound uh, but it's where your kind of higher notes are that was weird key <laughs> but that's where your higher um, your higher notes are um, and and uh, so you want to be able to sing in your head voice because that's a lot of people want to sing in their their higher notes, of course. And yeah, I was going to talk a little bit about the mixed voice, but I, I, let me just say that when you're pure, pure head voice, uh, you'll be in there sometimes, but uh, you want to be kind of in a blend of kind of your head and your chest voice, uh, which is uh, developing a good mixed voice. But again, that's for a that's for a whole different video. Uh, so how do you find head voice? Like I said, it's difficult for people to find. So this is one of the tricks of how to find your head voice. And then I want to talk a little bit about um, uh, what we're going to talk about next video. But uh, your head voice, uh, one good way to find it is like a, is make the sound, a sound like an owl. But owl, is that what an owl sounds like? But I think that's a little bit of my chest voice. Ooh, up there is where you find your chest voice. It's those higher kind of kind of lighter notes. Now a lot of people ask me, in fact I get this question all the time on my my singing site, my singing program, Superior Singing Method. Uh, I get this all the time. How do I tell the difference between my head voice and my falsetto? And uh, that's that's what I want to talk about in the kind of part B of this head voice video. Um, I did want to just um, say that I just want to encourage you that if you want to be a singer, um, it does take some work, it takes some time, it takes some effort to learn the techniques and the exercise. And I would just like to encourage you to do that, to, to, to really go after your dream to be a singer. And if people have told you you can't be a singer, I want to tell you that that's not true. No matter how much talent you were born with, whether it's a small or, or, or a big amount, you can learn how to sing and you can learn how to sing well. These techniques that, that I teach in all my videos and in my vocal lesson program have helped, I mean, so many hundreds and thousands of people in a hundred different countries, uh, they work. I get emails daily saying, I can't believe how well these are working. I thought, I thought it wasn't, wasn't going to work, but it's actually working for me. So I want to encourage you to, to sing. Um, if you wouldn't mind uh, subscribing to the channel and uh, maybe liking it if you don't mind. And also, uh, 
Um, I said it if you don't mind twice. Now I said it three times. Um, if you want to leave a comment, uh, just leave, you know, I, I at least read them. I, I respond to some of them, but for the most part, I, I at least read them and I try to do the, you know, what, what people want me to post on my YouTube channel. I try to do that as much as possible. So let me know what you want to learn about and any comments or, um, whatever that you may have. So, um, the next video, part two, is going to be about the difference between head voice and falsetto voice.